What's up? How are you guys this weekend? We have our latest health expert, Mariana Dvorska. Maybe she's uh, better at nutrition than I am at pronouncing non-English names. But hey, since she's marketing it as healthy, you know, fitness stuff, we have free reign. We have free reign to say what we want. You know, we can criticize her because it's not like this silly thing where they're just showing you what they're doing. And this is in the context that, you know, she knows what she's talking about from a nutrition standpoint and she's going to show us. Plus, you know, being half naked in every video doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Honestly, guys, I had another Korean girl lined up, but I figured, you know, we can't do two Asian girls in a row. You guys would think I have a problem. Sab is just squeezing half lemon into the glass, regardless of seeds. I was about to start making my morning matcha, but I realized that I'm all out of milk, so I'm going to do a little morning walk. And I actually think I'm going to try something different today. I'll show you guys when I get it. Um, we're gonna talk all about just dietary changes over the last few months that I've made. Super exciting stuff, super exciting music. Revolutionary. Maybe we should have gone with her. You've been subscribed <laughs> for a while. If you know my history with PCOS and gut health problems and all that, then um, you know I've changed my diet if quite a few times. I used to not eat any gluten, any dairy. I was very, very specific with the things that I couldn't eat and the things that I could eat. However, after I kind of dealt with the hormonal problems that I was dealing with and my period, my gut health, everything became normal and regular again. I wanted to introduce things back into my diet and just be more fluid with the things that I eat and more intuitive. If I'm craving something, I'm gonna have it. The whole reason for this spiel is that I got some raw milk. I've been dabbling with this idea for a while, ever since. Oh, it doesn't look like frankiesyourenergymeat.com. We might have to, to give her a visit, me and my Amish buddies. My grandma got here from Ukraine and she reminded me of how much I used to like raw milk as a kid and how the most important thing when it comes to dairy or meat or any of that stuff is sourcing and quality. I'm going to be playing around with adding a little bit of it into my diet and just seeing how I feel. Again, my digestion has improved significantly. Yeah, bro, definitely go to Erwan and support those big corporations and pay $15 for that container of milk. That's, that's the way to go from a few years ago. I eat gluten pretty much with no problems now. I have butter every so often, so I feel like this is kind of just the next step of, again, just broadening my diet and um, get, having options and then deciding what I feel like having. Sorry with all the construction going on, by the way. All that to say that I am going to make myself a matcha latte. I also got a coconut milk, so I'm going to do mostly coconut milk and just like a splash of the raw milk. So obviously like th there's a bit of confusion and she doesn't have a base understanding of what she i mean th this is like this is silly by the way there's raw milk and then there's pasteurized milk and pasteurized milk is actually uh safer to have raw milk can have bacteria it's a little bit more dangerous so if you're like pregnant for example you can't have um, raw milk just to be safe but if you know you're getting it from a trusted source the benefits are that this has more enzymes and live probiotics in it so it actually kind of helps you break down the milk proteins that a lot of people have problems digesting little spiel good morning let's make some money. so the real difference between the raw and the pasteurized milk is it's like an extreme thing, the way they do the homogenization and they heat it at very high temperatures. If you took a raw milk and you just like minimally heated it at like 180 degrees for a few seconds, if it's grass fed from the same cows, there's honestly not much of a nutritional difference. Maybe you reduce the antiscorbutic value a little bit, but you know, the base amount of nutrition, the B vitamins, the protein, everything's there. Everything's there. So you know, this whole big debate that, oh, raw milk is so much better than regular milk. It's more about, you know, do you have grass-fed milk 
versus conventional feedlot milk. And then if you're actually talking about health benefits of raw dairy products, it would make more sense if you're bringing up yogurt, if you're bringing up kefir, kefir, the very high probiotic foods, that would make more sense. I mean, it's, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, you have this fairly horrible concoction that people think is healthy. And then she just dumped a cup of raw milk in it. So, so we're getting somewhere from, you know, we have a semblance of animal nutrition, but if that wasn't in there, you know, I mean, matcha, just green flavonoids, polyphenols, all that stuff. It's just toxic to your liver. And if it's goitrogenic enough, you can have thyroid issues too, taking the stuff on a daily basis, especially in such large amounts. She put a collagen powder in there, probably just the regular chemical processed collagen. And uh, coconut milk is actually probably the best out of all the plant milks. It's just uh, the brand she had, I didn't, I didn't look into it, but sometimes what they do is they fortify it with synthetic vitamins, which is very bad for your liver. And they also add like chemical flavorings and preservatives. And then on top of everything, you know, when you don't go organic, there's there's some chemical concerns, but at least she's giving her body some B vitamins to deal with the oxidative stress and toxins from the other foods. Plus, raw milk animal protein is very good for, you know, building tissue in the body. The reason people look unhealthy and they don't look good is because their body's composed of like junk food, basically. <laughs> Basically, this will destroy your liver eventually, but at least you'll look a little healthier doing it. One hell of a concoction. Before we get any further into the video, I did want to tell you guys about this necklace because I know I'm going to get questions on it. I am working with Abbott Lion on today's video, and I'm so excited to bring you guys. All right, we're not we're not here for the necklace, young lady. Interesting sponsorship choice for a diet video. <laughs> That's like about roughly half of her nutrition video is talking about her necklace sponsorship. That's lovely. Okay, let's see what's next. Some breakfast. Normally, you guys know I love my avocado toast, but I've been craving bananas lately. I think I'm probably missing some potassium or something. So I'm going to have some sourdough bread with this creamy almond butter. The only ingredient in here is almonds. Um, some banana, and I think I'm going to add some cinnamon on top if I have some. Oh, you're craving sugar, not necessarily banana specifically. There it is. A little bit of cinnamon. This is like a ve vegan-esque dessert kind of thing. Although... I would consider this very healthy, actually, because, you know, you have calorically dense sourdough bread. Nothing really wrong with that. You know, is it organic? Is it made with clean water? Uh, that's that's up for debate, you know. I don't see organic on there. It, it's probably better bread than what most people are eating. But then just everything else is calorically dense. You know, it has a purpose. Banana, starch, and sugar. Uh, we did do a video on how bananas can be very inflammatory. They're high in anti-nutrients. Uh, saponins and all types of other stuff. Very, very bad for gut health. And if this girl has gut issues, honestly, bananas might be one of the worst foods you could eat from a gut health perspective. So probably not something she should be eating personally. Uh, she put some almond butter on there. I'm kind of indifferent about almond butter. Uh, if you go organic on these nut butters, they're okay. Peanut butter, usually still pretty full of toxins and mold and pretty bad for you. Uh, I usually sell macadamia nut butter. Uh, pecan butter, hazelnut butter, those are, are much better choices, but very hard to find. If you go in a supermarket, you won't even find those nut butters. You have to search pretty hard to find them. And then putting cinnamon, like maybe I'll do videos in depth on, on these spices and what they do to your liver. But if you just look up like NCBI studies on cinnamon and liver function, it's it's not good. You know, the, these spices when using them in every meal have to be processed by your body. And just taking the cinnamon out of the meal would take some stress off of her liver. 
you know, taking the bananas out, opting for something else. Even if you just cook the bananas, you know, it's it's a lot better. At least it's. I find it so interesting how my philosophy around food has changed so much as I've gotten older. I look back. Yeah, well, hopefully it keeps changing. She could really use some probiotics in this diet. In these phases, of, I was 100% plant based, and then there were phases where I was like terrified of carbs, and then there was a time in my life where I didn't eat any fat. I avoided anything with any kind of fat in it, and. Like my poor body trying to send me signals with hunger cues and I was like, no, I'm not listening to you. Like that is so stressful and I think eventually your body does give up and I really do believe that the more intuitive you are, the easier your life will be. And I know that it's easy for me to say that again now that I have been in- At least she's moving in the right direction. You do want to listen to your body, but you also have to understand like there's an element of modern conventional wisdom that can kind of ruin that like if you say oh i'm just gonna listen to all my cravings and go eat mcdonald's like you know th there's somewhere you have to draw the line and actually understand why you're craving certain things intuitive it's so much harder to be intuitive but um i think having these calculated ideas about what you should be eating and how much and all that is to an extent good because yes you want to use your common sense there are certain things that are healthy for you there are certain things that you need to have but if you combine common sense with intuition that's when you'll be winning but if you're only using these calculations and these specific formulas and you think that that's what's going to like bring you closer to your goals you are only moving in the direction of of disconnecting from your body in life you have any more jewelry to sell us something nice in case you guys didn't know, cinnamon is a blood sugar stabilizer. You can add it to like carb heavy meals. Yeah, I bet it stabilizes your blood sugar as it's destroying your liver so your organ system isn't functioning. Real great way to stabilize your blood sugar. Sorry if there's food in my mouth. Um, to help, to help you stabilize blood sugar. So things like oatmeal, you can add it to coffee, you can add it to toast and um, it supports you in that way, which is so cool. That's a great idea, bro. Just douse every meal with cinnamon, shut down your liver, and then after five years of doing that, when you can't sleep and you're near liver failure, see how hard it is to come back from that. But, you know, that, that type of liver damage isn't something people understand or realize, and it com usually comes later in life for a lot of people. I mean, you know, from the conventional standard American diet perspective, I mean, th this is probably super healthy. You know, I'm not much of a fan of sweet potatoes. They don't digest too well. Th you know, the anti-nutrient and that type of stuff. It it's not really known in these heirloom varieties of sweet potatoes. It's kind of hard to tell a lot of the time with all the different colors and types. Uh, but it just like a white russet potato is a much safer bet. Salmon. I mean, you're getting omega-3s, you're getting B vitamins. Some people don't stomach salmon too well, and you definitely want to get wild caught to avoid a lot of toxins. Salad, I mean, is salad the end of the world? Is it organic? What type of dressing are you going to put on there? Most people eat salad because they think it's healthy. They don't actually enjoy eating the salad. And if they do, it's because it's a Caesar salad that has like Parmesan cheese and anchovies and egg yolks in there. But you have you know, some starch in the potato and some animal I bet you that was like $35. to pan fry this steak, which is fairly easy to do. I'm going to microwave myself some brown rice, and then I'm going to mix arugula with some spring mix, put some 
olive oil, lemon, sea salt, and some avocado. I saw, you know, grass-fed beef, steak, can't complain. More animal nutrition. Brown rice, uh, some of you guys probably saw the rice arsenic video. Wouldn't touch it. White rice, much, much safer alternative. And even then, white rice, you don't really want to have it more than a few times a week. Brown rice is just so high in arsenic. And if you're buying like pre-cooked rice like that, you want to be mindful that they're probably not using a good quality water source. So it's always better to just get a rice cooker and make it yourself. Vegetables, the greens. You know, why is she having this? Probably because she's not eating enough rice. The brown rice full of arsenic is still healthier than the greens. So that's it. Olive oil, I'm not much of a fan of. We have a video on microwaves. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but you shouldn't have a microwave in your house or apartment. But in an apartment, it's hard because you're surrounded by so many other people using their microwave. It's a little rough. garlic on it as well. I have some already minced garlic, salt, pepper, brown rice with a little bit of olive oil and salt, and then my side salad. And for dessert, I am going to have a little bit of this dark chocolate and this midday square. I mean, like these meals look really good. I, I honestly like taking a step back and, and everything she's eating, I honestly can't complain and say that any of these meals were that bad. Um, the matcha every morning, I'm definitely not a fan of dousing that bread with cinnamon could be an issue. Uh, yeah, you know, that the salmon and the sweet potato, that's fine. If she wants to have greens with it, maybe not the end of the world. Cause she has animal protein in the diet and same thing with this dinner. Yeah. You probably don't need the greens and maybe you could have some issues down the road with oxalates and anti-nutrients, you know, how are those impacting your thyroid and kidney function? But overall, look. I mean, she's got organic dark chocolate, which isn't that bad. Midday squares, I don't know what those are, but she has some fat in the diet. She has plenty of animal nutrition. She's going organic. She's going high quality. This diet is probably one of the best ones we've seen in general. Uh, the, the few things that I would be concerned about for her are, you know, she seems to be eating a decent volume of food. Uh, I don't know how active she is, but I'm guessing uh, the EMF radiation in the environment could be playing a big factor in that because what it does is it impairs your organ function your liver your digestive function is being bombarded with the radiation so it can't break down and absorb nutrients in the food so what happens is you basically have a bunch of yeast candida in your stomach that's doing most of the digesting and taking the nutrients so i think if she just wore i think in a lot of cases most people just wearing emf protective clothing is going to greatly improve their digestive health that's that's a big secret most people are missing um you know you're, you're trying to really nitpick the diet a lot and yeah there's a few things she could do better but you know when when you're five to ten percent away on the diet you know it, maybe you're you know five to ten percent from fixing it but radiation is like 30 to 40 percent of an overall lifestyle factor it's hard to justify critiquing the diet further I love these so much. Again, you guys, I can't even begin to tell you like how fast this dinner was for me. It does not take a long time and I've really been simplifying my meals. I think the more you simplify things, the better, <laughs> um, you'll become a better cook for it. Yeah, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, definitely needs to be like as much rice as steak. It seems like she's still a little afraid of carbs. Um, yeah, she's definitely a little afraid of carbs. So overall diet really just needs more starch, more carbs, maybe a little more fiber, but it uh, looks pretty good outside of that. Take a quick look at the comments. Just seems like 
generic supportive uh, supportive stuff. But uh, I guess when you have a reasonable amount of truth to your day of eating, you're not going to get a crazy amount of viral views. So good for her, I guess. I guess you kind of need like a niche or something to uh, to promote it. And it's honestly kind of hard to promote your diet when half the video is you selling a necklace and you don't really know what you're talking about. But go figure. Well, thank you guys for joining me this weekend. Hopefully you all find a half brain dead European supermodel to spend your time with. <laughs> uh, yeah, Who doesn't have a girl like that, huh? But... If you guys do want to support me, you can check out frank com where we have all sorts of unique and interesting health products, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals, so much new stuff coming in every week, guys. I cannot keep up with it. You know, Thanksgiving turkeys are shipping out Monday. Uh, we got turkey parts as well if you want turkey breast, thigh, drumstick, individual parts. We got the chicken share back. We got corn and soy free pasteurized pork share. Uh, the powdered glandulars are back on organ supplements. We got we got a lot of new stuff. So if you guys do want to support me, uh, instead of your local Whole Foods, <laughs> you know where to go. But as always, if you guys can drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And let me know if there's any Dave Eatings or what I eat in a day stuff that you guys would like me to critique. <music>